Hi there, this is Patrick with lostintransit.com. Uh, today we're going to do a quick video tutorial on Silver Effex Pro. Silver Effex Pro is a program uh, written by Nick Software that converts color photographs into black and white. Uh, you can do the same thing that Silver Effex Pro does on um, Adobe Photoshop or on Lightroom, it just takes you 10 times longer. Uh, Silver Effects Pro is quick, it's easy, it'll save you a whole lot of time, and the results are absolutely stunning. So for today's tutorial, we're going to skip the whole Lightroom processing or Photoshop processing, and I'm going to teach uh, you how to take an image just like this one from color and import it into Silver Effects Pro, and the different steps that you can do within Silver Effects Pro uh, to be able to make uh, beautiful conversions. Okay, so we, here we have the image um, that was exported by Lightroom. So we're going to dive right in. If I open it up, you could see it's um, uh, it's an image of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, it was taken from a vantage point of uh, one of the ferries, uh, which is why I managed to get a little bit underneath the bridge to take the picture. So the only thing that was done in Lightroom is um, I cropped it, uh, the image, and I gave it a little bit of sharpening. Other than that, absolutely nothing has been done to the image. I'm going to open it up in Silver Effects Pro, and here we have it. The first thing I want you to look at is over here on the left-hand side. Uh, you have a tremendous number of presets. Uh, Silver Effects is worth it if you only uh, use the presets. Uh, what you can do with it is absolutely amazing. Um, I usually don't use the presets, but what I will do is um, take a look at them to get some ideas on what I could do to the image. Uh, what I like about it is, is that you could choose a preset and you could look over here on the right hand side where all of the adjustments are to see how they made the preset. And you could uh, remove different parts of the preset that you don't like um, and keep the, the things that you do like. Uh, so for example, on this preset, if I wanted to, I could turn off the border, little things like that, uh, which I find quite useful. Normally I like to add my own, um, I guess, fingerprint to the conversion process. So I start with a neutral image here, and then I go from the very top of the adjustments and I work my way down. You'll see here that we have um, brightness, contrast, and structure. If you click on the little arrows, you have more sub options. So making a black and white conversion is all about the different tones, how you handle the highlights, how you handle the mid-tones, and how you handle the shadows. So throughout all of the options, it's going to, uh, Silver Effects allows you to adjust each one independently. Uh, that's a powerful tool because it allows you to convert the image exactly the way that you want to. Um, so if I wanted to, I could adjust brightness, which changes the brightness of the entire image. Uh, in other words, it, it affects um, the bright areas and the dark areas exactly the same, um, which, is, which can oftentimes give you a result that you don't really like. Uh, instead with highlights, you can just adjust it and we can lower down the highlights a little bit and we can darken the shadows as well, uh, keeping the mid-tones the same or even brightening up the mid-tones a little bit. Uh, dynamic brightness does something very, very similar in that it affects the bright and the dark areas of the picture independently of one another. Contrast, you have the same options. You could apply it to whites, apply it to blacks, or you could apply a soft contrast uh, to, uh, to the image. Um, then if we look over, we have structure. Uh, once again, you have the options in highlights, midtones, or shadows. Uh, structure is almost a, a kind of sharpening that is applied, but it's only applied, it's not applied to these open areas, it's only applied to um, the definite uh, lines that are pictured in the image, which gives you a nice, especially with architectural type pictures, it gives you a lot of, of uh, a freedom to really make it sharp and uh, nice without affecting general skies or, or, or flat um, colors. If we move on down, we have selective adjustments. So if you want to, you could add an adjustment point, uh, let's say right here, 
uh, where you could choose to increase the individual brightness of that one area of the image, darken it, or go down and increase the structure or any one of the other options there. I find these quite powerful because it gives you the uh, ability to change one part of the picture without affecting the others. For example, if I click underneath this uh, bridge, I can go ahead and highlight a couple of points here and increase the brightness a little bit to be able to um, uh, see a little bit more of the detail of what's under there. And if I want the adjustment not to affect other parts of the pictures, I could just put uh, a point here without any adjustments and it'll um, it'll prevent any alterations that you're doing on these other control points to affect this area. Then uh, just below that you have a color filters where you could choose some uh, red, orange, uh, yellow, green, and blue. And uh, you can then change the, uh, the specific hue and alter the strength of it. So if you want 100%, if you don't want so much of, uh, of that effect, you could lower it or you could increase it depending on, on what you want to do with the image. Next you have film types. Now this is interesting. What the people at Nick Software have done is gone through all of um, a bunch of old film and basically scan it in and been able to mimic the um, effect that that film would have on a, on a picture. Um, so you could go through and you could uh, see what uh, had you taken the picture with this kind of film based upon the ISO that you have over on the left, how the image would have looked. I like it because the grain that it gives you is uh, more, it's closer to the grain that you would see on high ISO film. Um, and it's less of the digital noise that uh, we're used to seeing today. So it, uh, it makes the image quite, um, quite unique by applying these different uh, film uh, aspects of it. You could then go through and change the sensitivity uh, individually. These are pre-selected based upon the film type that you use or if you default it to uh, neutral you'll see that they're all set to zero and then you could alter these individually to give it the feel that you want. I'm just going to jump in at this uh, um, 400 ISO film. You could alter uh, levels and curves. I don't recommend doing so. You have much more powerful options in both Lightroom and uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, so I usually don't mess with this here. If I have to adjust anything, I will do it uh, in, in Photoshop. Uh, toning, Silver Effects gives you plenty of options here on, on giving, it, uh, giving your image uh, a, a different tone of two different colors, basically. Instead of making it just a, a strict black and white, you could uh, add a little bit of, uh, of a two-tone uh, split on it, uh, if that's what you want to do. Vignetting, you've got plenty of options. You've got these pre-established uh, examples, and then you could go through and change each individual one based upon the amount or the opacity of it, making it darker or lighter whether you want it to be um, circular, rectangular, the size. You could also change the center. Let's say you have a, a person's face uh, over to one side and you don't want the vignetting to affect it. You could go ahead and, uh, and place the center around the person's face even though they're not centered in, in, in the picture. Next you have these burn edges. This is almost like a frame around the image um, and you could see that you could add different uh, aspects of it which is uh, different options there and you could also go uh, individually and affect the strength, the size, and the transition. The final option is an image border. have a bunch of options there. Go ahead and put in a black one but you could uh, choose from all these different ones and then once again you have the complete freedom to make it uh, uh, larger or smaller depending on uh, what, what you want to do uh, with the frame. And that finishes it. You could go ahead and hit save, allow the image to be saved, and if we open it up, there you'll see the image, and you could see that we have a tremendous amount of detail, and uh, 
we can see the nice film type grain that we have there and uh, a very nice smooth conversion with very few odd artifacts uh, to be seen. And that's the image ready to be posted. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We're going to be uploading a few others shortly. Um, but uh, to recap, Silver Effects Pro is a, is a very easy and fast way to convert your color uh, images into black and white and giving you full control of the conversion process. Uh, the image will be uh, loaded up onto lossintransit.com, uh, as will the raw file if you guys want to uh, play with it. Thank you very much.